And we're back. Right where we left off, nonetheless. And I've managed to stay down here until morning light. So let's go up top and see what we got. Ooh, some enemies. I could die. I could die very easily. Just a few shots from a skeleton could wipe me off the map. Yeah, okay, but I'm pretty hardcore at fighting too, so... <laughs> <clears throat> the game isn't the only thing hardcore around here. And there was a spider somewhere. I'm not sure where he was at. I can hear him. Don't know where he's at. <clears throat> Maybe I will actually be able to finish this stupid roof in this episode. <laughs> it's only taken me three episodes just to build a house. <laughs> Uh, you know, when you're playing these things, it doesn't seem like nearly that long. But then whenever you have to go back and edit and watch them and all that kind of stuff, they really... It really takes a long time to do this stuff. <laughs> I guess that's why a lot of people can make entire Let's Plays of it. And that's cool. Wonderful music of Minecraft. I've always enjoyed this music. It's very soothing. Although I will admit, a lot of times whenever I'm playing Minecraft, I'll use my own music. Different stylings. I have like, um, like, um, power metal. I don't know if any of uh, my Minecraft fans are also my old Dead Frontier fans, but uh, I used a lot of power metal whenever I was making those videos, and I really enjoyed power metal. Um, <clears throat> one band in particular that uh, really turned me on to power metal was Theocracy. Theocracy is an excellent band. Oh, and before I forget, um, I know this video won't be uploaded until much later, but, uh, I just recently, just tonight, uh, I saw a movie called Solomon Kane. I'd never heard of it, and it was one of those deals where you rent the movie before it can even come out in theaters. It was excellent. I, I've got to say, whoever was responsible for directing and, like, making that movie, that was a very good movie. It, it kind of started out a little slow. I mean, it had just enough action to keep you, you know, interested. And uh, it did a really good job at developing storyline and everything. And it just, it was just an in general good movie. I, I really enjoyed that. So, torches on top of the house. Because uh, we don't like stuff spawning on top of our houses. Man, I have a lot of dirt. Lots and lots of dirt. And now, um, I'm actually gathering sand to make the windows in my house, because I, I can't have a house without windows. That's just, that's crazy. Crazy talk. I see my sugar cane over there is doing quite well. Very nice. I will be picking that up in just a moment. I'm going to have a full stack of sugar cane before I even get my first, like, piece of leather. <laughs> yeah, very nice, very nice. And filling it in because we can't have any barren spots. My OCD will not allow it. Not at all. Yep, full 12. Excellent.
what I should probably do with my wheat is I should probably let all of it grow to its maximum and then cut it all down at one time and then plant it all back again at one time because going up and breaking every single plant that looks like it's ripe does not seem to be yielding the amount of seed that I would like. So I'm probably just going to like eventually just let them grow wild, let all of them max out, and then break them all at the same time because that seems to get me a lot more seeds than what I'm doing currently. <clears throat> but that is quite alright. Come with me, piggies. Come. Come hither. Because it's time to start farming. Of course, I could do a lot more of that. There is a lot more grass over there that uh, I could be breaking. So I may do that before all this is over. I may just like cut all of the grass everywhere and uh, just go wild with uh, new seeds rather than harvested seeds. Iron production is in full swing. Oh yes. I'm telling you. I know I talked a lot about all the uh, the dirt in that last episode, but wow, whenever you see almost full stacks of iron and I've only been playing for like what, this is an hour and a half or something that we're working on here. Or, well, actually, not even an hour and a half. The end of this episode will have been an hour and a half if I should live that long. And, uh, I already have almost a full stack of iron. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, yeah. And it begins to rain. Wonderful. So the monsters can spawn freely everywhere now. <sighs> That's okay. Quite all right. Lots and lots of glass, and I will be doing window panes, of course. Uh, window panes go a lot further than just blocks of glass. Uh, the only time you want to do blocks of glass is whenever you're doing a horizontal section of glass that is overhead or something like that. I mean, you could probably still do window panes, but uh, it would look goofy. So, what they need, and I don't know if there's any plans for this, or if it's ever been thought of, it's, if it's a thing or not, is glass half slabs. That would be fantastic. So that way your horizontal plane, you could stretch it a little bit further, just like the uh, stone half slabs and stuff. That would be amazing. I, I really hope that they do something even remotely similar to that in the future. <clears throat> of course, I guess they couldn't call it a slab, technically. It'd be like a half glass block. Which, I mean, is the same thing. It's just, yeah. But I think they should do that. Because I would build with those. I would build tons and tons of stuff with those. Give them the same properties as all the other half slabs and... Got a deal. Oh, the phone! Okay, and I'm back. Um, yeah. I got to the phone, and right as I pressed the button, they hung up. I hate that. If you were going to call me, which none of my YouTube people, fans, friends, anybody on YouTube that I know, none of them really have a reason to call me, but if you do, for the love of God, please leave a message, please. I cannot stand whenever people call you and then don't leave messages. If you just called the chat, you need to call somebody else, because I don't like talking on the phone, period. Yeah, okay, that that's my rant for that. <laughs> God, I can't stand people. 
I'm not a very good people person. I'm not even gonna lie. I don't. I'm a horrible salesman. Uh, who has tried to get me to do sales before? Somebody tried to get me to do sales. The job that I worked at years ago, they were trying to get me to be a salesman, and so I would have to approach approach people cold turkey. Oh, creeper! Hello, Mr. Creeper. But I would have to approach people cold turkey and uh, just introduce myself to them and try to sell them a product that they had never heard of before. And it was absolutely horrible. It was the worst job I'd ever had in my entire life. lasted like a month. It was the shortest job span that I've ever had in my entire life. <laughs> I'm not a salesman. I'm not a people person. I've never claimed to be. I don't, I don't like talking on the phone at all. It is absolutely ridiculous. <clears throat> and if you can hear the IRL dogs barking, <laughs> those are my neighbors. We have very noisy neighbors. But come on, Creeper. You want to fight? Bring it. Oh, trying to flank me, huh? I saw that. You ain't got nothing. I got you. Got your number. Mm-hmm. Right. No creep explode on me. Okay. You know, one of the other things, one of the other reasons why I love trees is because trees also double as an alternate food source. They don't give you a lot of food, and I don't know that you could, like, survive on nothing but trees. But you could sure probably come pretty close. Because, um... Especially whenever, or if, I get to my vertical shaft phase of this game. The vertical shafts will have a lot of trees in them. Um, I know people are like, uh, how are you going to plant trees in a shaft that goes straight down? Well, th there's a technique to it, and it's, it's pretty cool. Um, but it provides me with a lot of wood, of course, and it provides me with a lot of apples. I will have probably... 10, 15 apples by the time I get to bedrock. Oh yeah. Because it is hardcore apple falling goodness. And always replant your trees. Unless you're by lava. And in that case, don't replant the trees. Or at least cover up the lava before you plant the trees. Because only you can prevent forest fires. You know, now that I think about it, this may not have been the most wise decision to put all these trees around a wooden house. Because if one of these trees were to suddenly burst into flames, this could be a bad deal. I didn't even think about that. But, um, hmm. Well, there's a, definitely an alternate way of dying. <laughs> my house burning down, my house is burning down, I'm burning down, I'm burning down. Yeah, that would be bad. And done. Okay. Yeah, just in case everybody couldn't notice, there's uh, there's not a whole lot going on. <laughs> this is just typical Minecraft get ready to do battle stuff. Not all that exciting, but I could still die at any moment. A creeper could come out from behind a tree, and it could kill me. But I promise, it won't be long before I'll get into some real adventuring. But whenever it comes to my actual list, I'm going to go ahead and call the house done for right now. Um, it seems that I have all of the glass panes in there, the roof is on it, 
And I'm completely protected from everything with the exception of zombies, and then that I only need like to place a block of dirt in front of the door. So, on to the farming. Uh, now it is time to officially build farms. Um, since I have the pigs here, I'm going to go ahead and start with the pigs, but that also does mean that I cannot obtain the number, what is it, two position? Is it? Uh, let me pull up my, my file here, because I don't want to get this wrong. Pulling up the word. 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 Why do I do everything in Word? It takes forever to start. Okay. Wheat farm. Okay, no, I've already begun my wheat farm. However, I do not have four rows of 12 wheat yet. I'm currently working on, I think last I saw it was like 8 or maybe 10. Um, so I have to get at least 12 on each side of that middle section of water. Once I do that, then I can call number 2 complete. Number 1 is definitely complete now, as of this episode. Um, like I said, I'm skipping the chicken farm for the moment. I'm skipping the sheep farm for the moment, even though the sheep are pretty near, but the pigs are like right here. So I'm going to go ahead and do the pig farm first. And then, of course, the cow farm will come much, much later. Um, one problem, though, is that I have not seen a single solitary chicken anywhere. I haven't even heard a chicken. I don't know where them stupid things are. I haven't seen an egg. I don't know what the deal is. Um, yeah, I had tons of animals over here whenever I started, but apparently they were all the wrong kinds of animals. <laughs> a chicken could have come in handy several times by now. Um... Yeah, like I said, lots of apples, and I need to eat them. Yes. So you see, you could probably sustain life like... I mean, you might be able to live permanently off of nothing but apples. If you, like, never jumped and never ran, you could probably live forever off of apples. I would say it's a definite thing. Okay, so let's see if I can get these pigs in here, and I think we're good. Yeah, the other pigs didn't want to come. Ah, there's a sheep! Okay, uh, you just go in there, sheep. Stay. Stay. No. No. Go. Um, okay. Well, you stay there, then. Okay. Done. And one so I can get in. Voila. So, four pigs. Um, I said a 10 by 10 pig farm. I would like to have at least five animals in each one. So, five of the same animal in each one. That would give me a pretty consistent flow. Um, I think especially whenever I get the chickens. Because five chickens produce eggs and you can breed them. And so that produces a lot of chickens. You can have a lot of chicken meat and a lot of feathers by the time all is said and done with five chickens. <clears throat> of course, I could do a lot more than that. I could do like ten of every animal. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, it just depends. If I have tons of food, I may like just keep breeding them just to do it. Uh, especially if my wheat farm really gets going here. Um... Once my wheat farm gets going, then I'll be able to do a lot more animal breeding. But I think it's going pretty good so far. Got my farm started, got a steady supply of food, got a steady supply of wood. I even have a little bit of um, mob drops so far. And once again, it looks like it's starting to get late. 
So we will probably head back to the house here in just a second. Yep. <clears throat> and just trying to decide what I want to do here. Don't really want to make any more glass right this second. And I already have arrows in case I ever do get a bow, but I'm going to need spiders. Or an abandoned mine shaft. An abandoned mine shaft would work, but I really don't want to like trek into an abandoned mine shaft right now. I'll wait until I have like a full set of armor first. That sounds like a pretty good idea to me. Yeah, see, that took way too long coming out of that door. That's gonna end up not being a good thing. <laughs> you gotta open a move. Open a move. Because ultimately what happens is, is a creeper is bound to spawn, like, directly on the other side of my door, where the wood from around the door is blocking my line of sight, <laughs> and then he's going to explode my house. Okay, so I'm deciding here that I'm going to go back down into the tunnels, but I'm going to do it fully prepared, which means that I have full sticks, full torches, full just about everything. <clears throat> and by full, I mean a full stack of torches, wood, coal, whatever. <clears throat> Mainly the torches though. Torches are very important. If you don't have a full stack of torches, you are not ready to go mining. Caving. I guess this would be mining. Mining looking for caves. Yeah. That's what I meant. Make sure that nothing appeared here because I didn't really light it up all that well. It's good. And into the depths. Much easier going down than it was going up with that kind of stuff. Okay, so when we left off from this particular area, we were hearing lots of monsters. So let's see if we still hear them. Which I bet we will. Oh, look in there. Looks like we were close. Remember how I said that dirt can often lead up to cave situations? Well, here is evidence. Hmm. Gotta be careful with this. You certainly don't want to die just yet. Gotta get at least... I would say I would at least like to have all my farms made before I die. <laughs> I mean, I know that's kind of selfish of me, you know. Just wanting things that are good for me. But, uh. Yep. And this is interesting. I see a creeper. And we're just gonna block that off because I don't need no creeper coming up on me. <laughs> okay, let's see what's on the other side of this. And boom, nothing. Excellent. Okay. And plenty of ore. That's what I'm talking about. I'll dig around it just a little bit because uh, typically in cave walls I have noticed that uh, whenever you get the ore out of a cave wall, if you dig just a few blocks behind it, sometimes there will be even more of that same type of ore. Um, 
I typically don't get all the ore out of caves a lot of times, uh, just because I want there to be something in case I ever come back and be like, ooh, look, a little surprise left for me. And then sometimes I completely strip mine a cave because I'm greedy. So it just depends on what mood I'm in, honestly. Okay, so let's see if we can actually get some stuff from any of these guys over here. Or, well, I guess I'm not going to do that yet. Okay. <laughs> hmm. Ah, okay. Leads up to the same shaft. Excellent. I had to think about it for a minute, though, because I was like, hang on, this isn't where I came in at. How did this get here? And then I realized, oh, yeah, that's right, because I was already off track because of dirt. <laughs> so I can hear that there are zombies, but I haven't actually seen a zombie yet. So I'm kind of wondering where that zombie is, because he sounds pretty close, actually. Uh-huh, more ore. that flint will come in handy once I get a bow. be even better if I could actually find some chickens on the surface. <laughs> Haven't done that. But I guess, well, maybe. I wonder if I stay up at night, if not only will monsters spawn, but if chickens will also spawn. Does it work that way? I know animals just don't like or do they randomly spawn now? Did they change that? Has has anything happened differently? To, can you like kill all the animals and then come back to a certain area and there be more animals there? I don't know. I haven't really paid any attention. It used to be once you killed all the animals in a certain area, yeah, you didn't get any more animals. They were like, uh, okay, you shouldn't have killed them all. Genius. But then... I don't know, it seems like I've, I've killed a lot of animals before and noticed that they come back. I know wolves do, because, hmm, I'm going to have to fix this anyway, aren't I? Okay, so this was a short episode this time, and uh, I'll tell you about the sheep story later. But, um, yeah, I'm fixing to go ahead and end it here, because, well, this one was a boring episode. I ain't even going to lie. And, uh, like I said, this is Warden1103. And I'm signing off. Subscribe if you haven't. Bye.